is in the building. What is good, guys? And yes, the new BG codes. And I just got a really quick match today uh, for you guys against somebody named Sora from the uh, Quid Chat. And it is a UU match, so uh, uh, let's begin. So right off the bat here, I really don't want to sleep flood or anything else, so I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard to try to get some damage. Turns out later in this match, you will find out the Smeargle is Scarfed. Very, very cool moveset. So he's going to switch out into his um, Escavalier here. I'm going to switch out into Oink, figuring it's faster than a pretty good amount of his team, and it hits his team decently hard but um I, I really don't want to get hit with a mega horn here and i have nothing that i feel like could one hit him anyway so i'm just gonna go out to my dawn fan it's kind of flawed here hoping maybe i can wake up and lay the rocks out and maybe get a mega horn miss but it doesn't really work out that way he's probably banded judging by you know no item now i'm just gonna go out to my specs charizard here sling king my good friend the sling king gave me this um, move set to try out, or well, he used it in battle and asked me if I wanted to use it, and uh, I did. I predict to switch into Quagsire here and go for the Hidden Power Grass, so that's a nice play right off the bat. Quagsire's are pretty annoying, so that's nice. He's going to switch out into his Miss Magius. I'm going out into Miltank, predicting a Shadow Ball here, but he's just going to sub up. I kind of figured it would be a subplot set, but this isn't really the best switch for me, seeing as I can't hit him hard either, as I'm my only attacking moves return. So uh, I'm going to have to switch out into my special wall, which I should have done in the first place, Ludicolo. And I love Ludicolo. It's it's such a boss, and I've been using this team a lot lately, and he's been coming up pretty pretty big for me. Maybe not necessarily as much this battle, but I love him. So uh, I'm just going to go for the Scald here, trying to break the, uh, the sub. I know I can, even at plus four, I'm feeling like I could take any hit he has because he doesn't have anything that's super effective. He does have the Stab Shadow Ball, but I'm not sure. I think I take one. So he's gonna. I'm gonna go for another Scald as he continues to try to sub up. It's really pointless at this point. He's you know just losing useless HP. There's nothing he can really do. So he's gonna decide to go for that Shadow Ball, and I believe I live. And I'm not sure. I, th I think I do though. Yes, I do live. So I live a plus four Stab Shadow Ball. That's pretty freaking cool. And on top of that, I'm gonna get the burn with the Scald. So that's really gonna hinder his ability to try to sweep here. So I'm I'm pretty pretty damn happy about that myself. So I'm gonna switch out of Coolito here. Go out to Mill Tank predicting a shadow ball but he actually predicts that and goes for the hidden power fighting fighting and i was honestly not expecting him to carry that having the subplot because most of the time they like to carry thunderbolt as that off move at least that was the way it was in fourth gen i don't know the way mechanics for miss magius work necessarily now as much but hey it's what it is i know i can come into oink here my uh mammal swine and just revenge kill with the ice shard so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i get the use of crit probably didn't matter i am life orb and it's stab and Miss Magius doesn't have great physical defense. So, I'm going to switch out because I don't want to get hit with the Mega Horn again. And I'm going to go into Kulito as Flotter. He's just going to go for the Iron Head. And that's going to take me out being that it's Stab, Bandit, and that's probably a fucking monster. So, I'm going to go with the Sling King here. Now predicting him to stay in. Predicting my overpredict. Plus, to be honest, I felt like Fire Blast hit anything on his team pretty hard now at this point. So um, that's going to take him out. He's going to go out into a Sora, his Smeargle, and I knew he was Scarfed at this point. Because I was like, why would he switch into this if he wasn't Scarfed? So he's Scarfed. I have no problem leaving Charizard in his Flutter because I believe... Not Flutter, but Sleep Flutter because I believe he only has his Honchkrow, his um, Smeargle, and his Vileplume, which a Mammoth Swine can handle all of them. Being that I do have the Ice move here that's going to one-hit his haunch crow and surprisingly it does i honestly don't know why i wasn't expecting it to i was expecting him to live with a sliver but hey that works for me now he's gonna go to his smear goal i know that he's scarf but i'm not sure what he's gonna he's gonna want to do because this is a pretty creative move set and he's actually gonna go for the destiny bond and nothing i can do about that being that he's faster so he takes down my mammal swine which is honestly probably might be my favorite uu poke right now to be honest i love i love it so much this is one of my other favorite uu pokes my Braviary, I've been fooling around with Retaliate on it over Return in the last few weeks, and it works, but I didn't kill the Vile Plume here, and he's going to get off the Stun Spore, so that was pretty bad. I, I was expecting it to, being that I usually see Special Defensive Vile Plume, but hey, he's going to live there. I am Scarf, not Bandit, and he can get the Moonlight off. I'm just going to Retaliate again, hoping that he just tries to kill me off, and I, can, I know Charizard. 
is gonna take him out but he, he ends up I end up getting the crit didn't matter because I had Charizard and he told me that a, um, there's no attacking moves on his vile plume so that's fine I hope you all enjoyed and um, yeah please leave a like if you enjoyed the battle peace guys